The image curve tool allows you to place an image along the path of a curve. If you haven't watched the draw with spline video yet, I highly recommend doing that before you watch this one. It's very similar in how it functions. You left click to add points of a curve. And editing, moving, and so on is all the same. I'm only going to touch on what's unique to this tool. Right now, you can select the depth image, color, and spec. They can be different if you want. I've selected the same image for all of them. You can also set the number of tiles that's placed along the curve. You may have noticed that it's the scale based off of the distance from the first and last point. So if I add another point over here, it's going to be rather large. And this point in the middle is just going to bend it. The way we can adjust that is by placing uh, multiple tiles in between. And right now we only have one tile. So if we say add three, it scales up and has three of that image tiling in there. We can increase that quite a few times. And it still scales based off the distance from the first and last points. Let's add another curve in here. Put this down to say, Seven should do it. Let's adjust a little bit. And um, just like every other tool in 3D Coat in the paint room, you can do depth, color, and spec all at the same time. Yeah, tools like this also have no pressure sensitivity, so it's a good idea to finagle the depth. We also have a number of all the other features that are not in the text curve tool or the Java spline tool. Uh, right here we have edge blending. If we turn that up, you'll see it fades along the edge, which is neat. And then we also have extrusion. This is a multiplier of how high or deep the extrusion goes. So if we hit enter, we've now applied some speckles there. And let's go ahead and move that out of the way. In fact, let's just delete some of those and move that. Let's delete that one there. And let's turn the extrusion up to, say, 2. Hit Enter. And you'll see that the entire image, not just the spots, because it was a black and white image, not uh, white with an alpha channel. So part of the, the, the squareness of the image has also been extruded. And it also comes up a little higher than the other dots that we did previous. So that's it for this tool. See you in the next video.